So what makes your Facebook page awesome? That's a question I like to ask myself when I work for any client. After I've built it out, I've optimized everything, I ask myself this question. What makes this Facebook page awesome? Would I, as a customer, want to like this page? Would I want to share things on this page? So if you can't answer that question, that's fine. But I just like to go out and I like to look at competition. I like to look at some of the big brands and take in elements of things that work and get shares and get likes and mimic and copy those things for my own brand or for my clients' brands. So make sure to check out www.coursenv.com slash best dash Facebook dash pages. So let's look at a few of my top favorite ones. First is Cabela's. Instantly landing on this page, you know what this page is about. Outdoors, the world's foremost outfitter. When I look to these big brands, things I first notice. Profile image, clean, I instantly know what the brand's about. Cover photo, again to solidify, what does Cabela's mean? And then I like to notice what their call to action button is. Obviously they have a store with the shop now button. Next, I go to the tabs. What tabs did they see as important for their brand? This is cool, a good takeaway for you. Big brands run contests. They want engaged fans. So they even hashtag this one, fan of the week photo contest with the instructions on how to enter. So just keep scrolling through and see what gets likes, what gets engagement. Another Facebook page I love, Zappos. Again, a shop now call to action. Great photos featured right at the top telling me that they sell shoes. And then, what is Zappos all about? They're known for customer service. We're here for you 24-7. Post a comment, tweet, chat, email, call. They're giving you every option to get a hold of them. That's rare in some businesses today. So Zappos is all about branding themselves as customer service first. To find trending topics and trending hashtags, I like to use sites like google.com slash trends so you can see what's trending today, this month, this year, and include these keywords within your Facebook posts. Or you can even use sites like hashtags.org. We can look at popular hashtags, trending hashtags, and include those in our post as well. One more page I love, Starbucks. Clean, just their logo for their profile pic. Love these product shots. So their call to action button, simply send a message. So again, they're seeking customer service is what I take from that. So make sure to check out our favorite Facebook pages and what we feel makes them awesome at courseenvy.com slash best dash Facebook dash pages. What you wanna do now is to go to your competitor's Facebook pages. Look at what gets engagement. Look at what tabs they're using. What's their call to action button? What's their profile photo and cover photo? Pick and choose all the things that make these varying competitor pages great to therefore implement on your own Facebook business page and make it awesome. So in the beginning, you're gonna have low followers, not the most likes, but fake it till you make it. Start to copy some of these big brands and you'll be surprised. Maybe some of your posts go viral, Maybe some of these post engagements I teach you later on get a ton of hits, a ton of likes, a ton of comments. So this is just the beginning.